favorite race, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm thinking back of my go-kart days when uh, we had a, a, a big disappointment with uh, our engine supplier because my competitor was uh, De Angelis and he was uh, very wealthy. So, you know, in go-karts you have uh, your own engine that you test out and you, you, you select after many, many tests. And then in one important race, we had the same manufacturer. On Saturday night, he said, uh, give me your engine because I want to check if everything is okay. Sunday morning, I go to the racetrack and he tells me, no, there's something wrong, you better take this other engine. And I felt really, oh, I like mine. Uh, you better not. Then we are on a starting grid and my engine was in the Angelis car. So <laughs> I was really, really, really frustrated and, and was really a big disappointed. This was the second last race before I would stop driving in cars. The last was the Italian championship at the end of the season. And my father said, ah, this sport, forget, it's unfair. We stop, we don't do it. And I really wanted to do it. So I convinced my mother to, he said, no, I will not support you. We, you, we don't go, it's too unfair. I convinced my mother to give uh, me her uh, Renault uh, Fuego. She had a Renault Fuego. And uh, I needed somebody to drive because this was uh, 500 kilometers away. So the husband, one person who knew nothing about racing, just he would drive the car. I take my training carts with a small toolbox, not even my mechanic. I just wanted to do it. I went there to cut the story short and I, I, was, I won the championship. And this uh, was an incredible feeling and also was an incredible lesson. And probably it's been the most wonderful moment of my whole career.